Piper. Hey, here. Something to keep you sharp. Always worked for me. Your thoughts? Have any more questions about the Institute's enemies, Blue? We should get going. All right. Permission to come aboard, sir? Permission granted. And welcome back, Paladin. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you on a successful mission. And is this our new recruit? Yes, sir. I feel promoted him to initiate, and I'd like to sponsor his entry into our rankings personally. Yes, we've read your reports. You'll be pleased to know that Elder Maxon's approved your request and placed the recruit in your charge. Thank you, sir. And my current orders? You are to remain on the Pridwin and await further instructions. Very good, sir. Ad Victorium, Captain. Ad Victorium, Paladin. So, you're the one Paladin Dance has taken under his wing. <laughs> you don't look much like a soldier to me. Sorry to disappoint you. Sorry? A little soft around the edges, aren't you? If you want to earn your place among the best, you need to toughen up. I've read Paladin Dance's reports. He seems to think you'll make a fine addition to the Brotherhood. You might expect an endorsement like that to grant you a great deal of latitude with us. But let me make one thing clear. The Brotherhood of Steel has traveled to the Commonwealth with a specific goal in mind. As the captain of this vessel, I won't allow anyone to jeopardize our mission, no matter how valuable they think they are. Understood? What exactly is your mission here? I'm not at liberty to say. Elder Maxon will be addressing the crew shortly, and I'm certain all of your questions will be answered. Now, was there anything else, or was everything I said understood? Not even a hint? Come on. I deserve it. Look, all I can tell you is that we're here directly in response to the data that Dance's recon team provided us. Beyond that, you'll just have to wait until Elder Maxon addresses the crew. Now dispense with the questions. It's time to get to work. Understood? That's all for now, soldier. Your orders are to proceed to the command deck for the address. After which, Elder Maxon wishes to have a word with you. If you have any questions, ask me now. Otherwise, you're dismissed. Can you tell me anything about Elder Maxon? Elder Maxon is the Supreme Commander of the Brotherhood. Without his tenacity and his vision, we'd still be a small group of complacent stragglers occupying the Citadel and the Capital Wasteland. In a mere decade, he's grown the Brotherhood of Steel into a major military force. He's an inspiration to us all. Is there anything else? I don't have any questions. Then I suggest you head over to the command deck immediately. Dismissed, Initiate. You lost. Maxon's address is being held on the command deck. Welcome aboard. Elder Maxon is holding his address inside the command deck. Brothers and sisters, the road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty. Each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. You have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose or direction. And most impressively, without question. Now that the ship is in position, it is time to reveal our purpose and our... Beneath the Commonwealth, there is a cancer known as the Institute, a malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are experimenting with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb they call their creation, the Synth, a robotic abomination of technology that is free-thinking and masquerades as a human being. This notion that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. And like the atom, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I am not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. 
Therefore, the Institute and their Sixth are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. This campaign will be costly and many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy. Itself. Ad Victorium! Ad Victorium! Ad Victorium! Green across the board, sir. Nothing new. Good. If it looks dead, Good. put one more in its head for good measure. Why take the chance? Damn ferals. Radiation has a twisted sense of humor. So how did it look out there? We've got a lot of work ahead of us, brother. Paladin Dance. I'll be in the mess hall if you want to talk. Good luck with Maxim. The last person that disobeyed Captain Kells ended up scraping rust off the Pridwin's hull. From the outside. You think the Commonwealth looks bad? You should see Paladin the Dance. Wasteland. I'll be in the mess hall if you want to talk. Good luck with Maxim. I care about them, you know. The people of the Commonwealth. Care about them? I thought we were preparing for war. The Brotherhood is here to prevent a war. By starting one of our own. The difference is, our war won't reduce civilization to ashes. What do you want from me? I want you to start taking responsibility for this planet. To start making a difference. And from what I've read in Paladin Dance's reports, You've already begun that journey. Seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers, you couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. And, befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Wear it with pride. Only a knight? Why not a paladin like Dance? The Brotherhood maintains a strict hierarchy, organized by rank. Paladin is several ranks above Knight, and it took Dance many years to achieve that goal. With your continued loyalty to the Brotherhood, I'm certain you can attain the same. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud. Dance? There you are. How did it go with Elder Maxim? He's a very dedicated man. It sounds like he stands behind everything he's saying. Of course he does. How could he afford not to? I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. Not to put too fine a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together. I won't let you down, Dance. I promise. Good. Now, I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. But first things first. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. You can come with me or wait until I'm done. It's up to you. In that case, I prefer to tag along. If you change your mind, just let me know. Hey. You point, I shoot. Excuse me, Paladin Dance? Yes. Your thoughts? I've served on this vessel for years. 
It's the only home I know. That's all for now. Very well. Let's talk to Proctor Tegan. I bet he has some excellent mods for our power armor. Congratulations on the promotion, Knight. There. Try it now. Nothing. I was supposed to report ten minutes ago. If you can't fix it... I can fix it. You're the one who decided to kick your today? way through a... Meyer lurk. <laughs> Got it. There it is. So, you're the Thanks, new recruit Rob. I heard I about. You. Huh. Not what I was expecting. What were you expecting? The last batch of recruits we took on were wastelanders. Dirty, beaten up looking for a handout. They were desperate and looking for an easy out. You look like you're here for a reason. Anyway, since you came down here to meet me, we may as well get it over with. My name's Ingram, and this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the Pridwin's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire, you come see me. You should add teaching charm school lessons to the list. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but when you're as busy as I am, there isn't much time for bowing and curtsying. There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. You feel like telling me how you ended up that way? That's a little personal, don't you think? Come on. If we're going to be working as a team, we should get to know each other better. I'm not really looking for sympathy. And honestly, I don't know you that well. Maybe some other time. Anyway, I'm sure you're here to get your hands on some power armor. There's a pretty decent T-60 suit sitting in Bay 3 that's all yours. The left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps off of you. Oh, and if you need any work done on it, feel free to use the workshops around here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. Have you ever fired a minigun? Choose excuse me, Proctor like Teague. Step forward, Knight. Even though they've locked me in this blasted cage, I promise that I won't bite. Why are you in there? I'm glad you asked. Now this is the stowage depot, and I, as you probably already guessed, am the ship's quartermaster, Proctor Tegan. The powers that be have me locked in here, so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place to buy them. That's good to know. I'm glad you're the agreeable type. When I tell most of the new recruits that they have to buy their own equipment, they give me the stink eye. The good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. Yeah, I'm mostly interested in weapons, but I'll take anything useful. Of course, if you're just looking to make a few caps on the side, I might have some extra work for you to do. What sort of extra work are we talking about? Oh, no, 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 no. It's nothing like you're thinking. It just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and... Interacting with the local farms. And since I'm stuck up here manning this one-man zoo, I need someone to do the legwork for me. After you're done with the meet and greet, we can discuss the details. In the meantime, if you ever need anything else, a gun, a mod, even ammo, you just let me know. You haven't lived until you've tipped a Brahmin with a vertebrate. Now that's a challenge.
I heard that Elder Maxim got that scar on his face from going one-on-one -on -one with a Deathclaw. Glad you finally stopped by, soldier. Are you ready for your medical exam? What kind of medical exam? I feel fine. There's nothing to be alarmed about. I just have a few simple questions about your medical history. It's my responsibility to make sure that you don't bring anything up here that could pose a threat to the crew. I'm going to ask you a series of medical-related questions, and I'd like you to answer me to the best of your ability. First question. As a child, were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? There wasn't that much radiation around before the bombs fell. Before the bombs? What? Let, let me check my notes. You were a vault dweller? You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. Okay, second question. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? Honestly, I don't remember. Well, you don't appear to be suffering from any long-term ill effects, so I'll assume you haven't. Third question. And please, answer honestly. Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? Uh, no. Never have. Very well. Last question. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? That's more of a morals question, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. I feel that the mental state of the crew is just as important as the physical. Anyone that hesitates firing in combat due to misguided moral standards certainly isn't Brotherhood material. So what about you? Would you have a problem with it? If my life's in danger, I'll do whatever it takes to defend myself. That's an acceptable answer, and the most common. Excellent. I think I've got all the information I need. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. Cade? Something I can do for you, soldier? Patch me up, Doc. Well, to fix the problem, I need to know what it is first. Feeling sick. I think it's radiation. We'll clean you up, don't worry. And that's that. Anything else bothering you? No, we're done. All right. You watch yourself out there, soldier. Good, you're finally here. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. What are you doing with all these books? I suppose I could stop working for a moment to address your question. Which books contain pertinent information? Technical volumes, repair manuals, design philosophies, medical research. Anything that enhances the Brotherhood's knowledge. That's why I consider everything else a waste of paper. Whatever suits you. Expanding the technological knowledge of the Brotherhood is what suits me. Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? Maxon wanted me to meet the crew, so you were next on my list. Ah, yes. You must be the new recruit described in Paladin Dance's report. Under normal circumstances, I'd provide you with a proper orientation of my department. However, I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documentation. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the personnel needed to get the job done.
What exactly is a research patrol? Simply put, we send a small two-man team to scout a location and evaluate its technical and historical relevance. Saves us from sending an entire retrieval team to a worthless location. If you want my help, just ask already. I wasn't aware you were interested, Knight. As you patrol the Commonwealth, keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts. Anything containing useful technical data. I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents that you recover. And if you wish to be assigned to a research patrol, I have plenty of them waiting to be filled. In any event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. Hey, go ahead. Paladin. What do you want? Your thoughts? The food in the mess hall isn't bad. Well, as long as you don't smell it before you eat it. That was all. Not a problem. Dr. Ingram said she needed this suit tested yesterday. Yeah, I get it. You just... What if I miss? Don't. Okay, sure. Firing. Everything holding together? Trust me. You'd know. Good. Uh, firing! All right, all right. Everything looks nominal. And you didn't scuttle the ship. Thanks, Initiate. Sure. Anytime. Joining our cause was the wisest decision of your life, brother. The human-looking synths are the worst. They hide in plain sight. Ah, Knight. 
You have technical documents, perhaps? Or looking to assist on a research patrol? I found some technical documents for you. These aren't technical documents. I don't have time for games, soldier. Come back when you've decided to take your duties more seriously. Quinlan? Ah, Knight. You have technical documents, perhaps? Or looking to assist on a research patrol? I've got time to assist on a patrol. That's the spirit. While our scribes are well trained, combat is not their specialty. Your assigned scribe will meet you at the airport. There, he'll give you the research patrol location. Return with both scribe and data intact, and your mission is complete. I'd just leave that if I were you. Trying to minimize now that you've had a chance to roam the Pridwin, what do you think, Knight? Where did the Pridwin get her name? Elder Maxon said he took the name from a work of historical fiction. Something about a man who was destined to become a king, and his journey to liberate his people from tyranny and oppression. Seems fitting for such a remarkable ship, wouldn't you say? She's very impressive. Yes. Quite a feat of engineering, isn't she? It took the Brotherhood's sharpest minds over two years to design, and more than twice that to build. Where was the Pridwin constructed? She was constructed at Adams Air Force Base, just outside of Washington, D.C. There was a vast amount of scrap metal in salvageable components there, after we defeated the Enclave. We spent the first two years alone gathering the parts. The rest was spent assembling. It was worth the effort. With the Pridwin in our arsenal, we can mobilize our entire division, sending her anywhere that Elder Maxon wishes her to go. Her presence in the Commonwealth ensures that our mission to defeat the Institute will end in victory. Did the Brotherhood ever build other airships? There were less advanced versions of the ship built on the West Coast a long time ago. Historical records about their current status are in dispute, but we're fairly certain that they were destroyed. In any event, I hope your tour of the Pridwin helped acclimate you to our way of life up here. I think you'll find that the more familiar you become with both her capabilities and her crew, the longer you'll survive as a member of the Brotherhood. You're dismissed, Knight. Control systems all reporting back nominal. Station keeping maintained. Thrusters stable. So replacing humans with exact duplicates makes me Tighten sick. up the meter. Like that? Now split the difference. There. Now half that. Do you want to do it? Now that you've familiarized yourself with the Pridwin's crew, are you ready for your next assignment, brother? What sort of assignment are we talking about? The kind of assignment where all of the training you've done finally begins to pay off. Let's get right to it, then. Shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong. 
and it's infested with super mutants. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells we could use in our campaign. I want you to head over there, wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. Understood? Consider it done. Look, I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute, but it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. It'll be a pleasure to exterminate that mutant filth. Now, we have a vertebrate on standby, fully armed and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the earth. Dismissed. I'm proud to be serving under Elder Maxon. <laughs> 